Hey guys, make sure to stay until the end. We want to share one good advice with you. That way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere and you don't end up spending thousands of dollars in future repairs. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Edge that generation here from year 2010 to year 2014. If you need to find where the front right turn signal fuse is located, we need to check up to two different fuses in two different fuse boxes. Stay with us, we'll explain where they're located. Where you can guys buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, realize the good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure to stay until the end. Before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage guys, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart on our YouTube channels. We show you how to fix transmissions, engine codes. This channel specifically will be for fuses guys. And we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Now, if you need help with anything, if you're in the middle of nowhere guys, and you need to find, let's say the fuse on that forage for a fuel pump, for anti-theft system, alarm system, ignition codes, fuel injectors, anything like that, all you have to do, find the video on our channel, watch it in less than a minute or two, you're back on the road, guys. So that's why we make these videos to save you as much money and time as we can. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that, that do not exist guys. When all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so for the front right turn signal guys which fuses we need to check we will demonstrate on this generation four latch if you own one of these guys you probably do not know but you have many hidden fuse boxes in it and most people don't know about that we will recommend to check out the video on our youtube channel about fuse box location on four latch what you guys need to do first open the driver door here on the driver side under the dash you see that's your parking brake paddle hood open lever behind it on the left side you have a cover remove it underneath you'll find a fuse box with a layout like this one before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize so the fuses that we're going to explain now guys actually okay uh, are two fuses one in this fuse box one in the other one please make sure to stay until the end we want to share one good advice that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us so Coming on this side now, even if you have a missing fuse, you count the spot 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Fuse number 13, guys, okay, it will be that fuse right here that you will need to check. Next, you need to, guys, open the hood. And here on the driver's side, you have a fuse box. You have two tabs here, press them, leave that cover. Underneath, you have a fuse box with a layout, okay, uh, like this one right here, guys. Here we need to check one more fuse specifically and we're talking about fuse number 60 so even if you have a missing fuse you count the spot you start on this side that's 56 57 58 59 fuse number 60 that 15 m fuse is the one that you will need to check so guys this generation ford edge has all kind of different fuses and relays fuses and relays that could be really hard to find especially if you live in a small town if you're in the middle of nowhere one time we needed a replacement fuse we couldn't get one and as a result we were stuck there for a few days until shipment came so we'll recommend to keep some of those spare ones in the glove box for a peace of mind so that thing doesn't happen with you we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from Hopefully the video will be helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.